And my name is Ms. G. Welcome to the entertainment segment on TV3 New Day. It's been a pretty interesting week for us in show business. Now, I'm sure you're familiar with some of the stories. So on Saturday, we're all hopeful that uh, President Obuas, is affectionately called, would have made it uh, on the ticket of the MPP to represent the people of Achim South uh, constituency. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Now, on Monday or Tuesday, I think it's on Tuesday, we heard that Kelvin Boy was invited by Electroland to come help them launch their branch in Ashama. Something unfortunate happened. I'm sure that you're familiar with that as well, that uh, some thugs, and I would like to call them that, attacked him, claiming that he had said in some interview that he would rather perform for one CD than to show up in the Shama for a performance. Now, we're going to talk about that as well. And also in the news is the Ajize and Josh Too Funny Challenge. So, non far Challenge versus Don't Leave Me Challenge. Ajize is not happy. And of course, many of the comedians aren't happy that Ghanaians refuse to support their own. When he started the non far Challenge, a lot of people they didn't buy into it. But a Nigerian started Don't Leave Me Challenge and people are running helter-skelter buying into it. Is it true that we do not support our own or the issues the packaging from Ghana isn't that lucrative for a lot of people. Then finally, we'll top of the conversation. In fact, it's the most on our list uh, about stranded musicians abroad and the response we got from Mr. Simons, who was here with us on Tuesday, on what Musica is doing about it. Joining me in studio for the conversations, uh, we have... Um, <laughs> I'm laughing because he's been touted the number one entertainment pundit now. Uh, <laughs> that has been given to him by uh, my boss, so I have no choice than to call him that. But he's a pretty good friend, and his name is Arnold Asamwa Beidu. He is a man of many parts, but in this space, we know him to be an entertainment analyst. But he's into aviation as well, for those of you who do not know. And seated by him is uh, the Beard Gang president. George Britton. George Britton is a very well-known name in the industry. He's an artist manager and a media person as well. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining me. Thank you very much. Thank so you. let's start from the, the very most topical this week, which is Kelvin Boy's issue that happened in Ashama and uh, all the matters arising. So like I said in the introduction, mm -hmm. uh, he was, we're told that he was at Electroland in Ashama and some man who... Yes, people say he, he used to be part of Stone Boy's team. Of mm -hmm. course, I've seen him with Stone Boy before. And those of you who have followed Stone Boy's team, yeah. I'm sure you know you've seen him with Stone Boy. Decided to go in there and attack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, when you saw the story, I start with you uh, because you're an artist manager as yes. well. If that was your artist, how would you have been feeling uh, the, 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 the scene? I would have pre uh, felt pretty bad. Uh, immediately I heard the story. Uh, I saw the videos online. I reached out to City. So I wanted to confirm if it was truly what's, what was happening was true. Uh, I reached out to CD and asked if what was happening. And they said he just got to the venue because he's not been feeling well. Uh, he got there and saw his, I mean, the tags because he knows them. He saw them rushing to uh, pick up and left. So it was quite an unforeseen, uh, you know, circumstances. Uh, because looking at where, what Kevin represents, I mean, he's a, he's a Ghanaian artist. Mm -hmm. And for him to be attacked, in Ashama was pretty awful. I mean, I think I'm, I'm a bit disappointed in the two, so I don't know if I stand to be corrected. I'm, I'm a, a bit disappointed with the media because not so many of us have come out to condemn uh, mm. the actions, mm. but rather we are attacking either Kevin or Stoneboy. Maybe it's but, because of his reaction, but some of the visuals are rolling on the screen for those of you who haven't seen it yet. Is it, is it not going to be because of his reaction? No, but even if it is, uh, we need to first of all condemn you know, attacks like this. I mean, mind you, this is the second time a uh, thing of this kind is happening. It happened to Brobe's uh, Japanese manager in Kasua, mm -hmm. uh, another fan of a certain artist attack. Well, it happened to a lot of people. Kobiche was slapped in Takadu. You get me? So in until we condemn, until we condemn. Because he was deemed to be a sub person. Until we condemn person. and punish people who go into this, uh, we don't, we might not know what's going to happen tomorrow. So for me as an artist manager, I wouldn't be uh, glad. Maybe, I don't know, if I, if I was there, and this happened to my artist, probably something might, you know, happen ugly. <laughs> <laughs> and your initial reaction when you saw that, and I'll ask you also yeah. whether you think this is not becoming a deterrent to businesses. This is a business setup. It has nothing to do with the artist. He has just interest in promoting an artist and thinking that the artist could also rub off his brand. And this happens to uh, them at the first day they decide to open for market. I mean, I mean, it's pretty much obvious that um, no brand would want to associate itself with, with any form of violence. And so uh, once that happens, they would want to stay clear from, from anything violent. So for me, I think it's, 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 it doesn't aggravate well for us as an industry. Mm. 
However, you need to also lay the blame on the doorstep of electoral land. I mean, you can't go to a hot spot like Ashama and not beef up security. It, 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 it makes less sense to me. Hmm. Because you are going to launch a major project in Ashama, which we all consider as one of the hot spots of, in, in, in Ghana, and you do not elevate your, your level of security. That's, that's for me, it's, 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 it's unacceptable. Yeah, and is, so is, they is, need to take them first. And again, uh -huh. Wait, before blame, you even mm -hmm. go on, is it yeah. that we've been told that Ashama is a, is a spot or noted for criminal activities such that when we are going there... No, I mean, regardless of whatever endeavor you are going to do or we, 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 in whatever city, you need to step up the security. Mm. But I'm saying, we all know for a fact that that city or that town is a hot spot. It's, let's not kid ourselves. Espe it is. Especially when Kelvin Boy is... That's, 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 that's one. Yes. That's so one. That's, that's was one. the choice of Artis also a problem? No, that's the first one. Let's, uh, let's first of all, accept that the choice was that, a problem? No, let's accept the... I'll come to that choice. Mm -hmm. But let's, come to the, let's accept the fact that they should have elevated their security apparatus mm. going into Ashama to launch a project. Now, the second thing is, Electroland and whoever organized the, the event, they also failed to do their research mm -hmm. in regards to the artists involved and his history with the city and all the people within the city. Because if they had done their research very well, they would have known that there's some level of tension between these two, the artists and some elements within Ashama. And those, they would have also elevated the security apparatus. So the two, the two elements, the Electroland Company Limited and whoever organized the event, they failed. But isn't that also to say, like, uh, this is a huge brand here. Yeah. It was nurtured by this person. And so to some extent, uh, we feel that if we cannot get that huge brand, we can get his son in court. <laughs> <laughs> his son in court, yes. I mean, uh, on the other day, it would have been a great day, a great moment, I mean, for Stoneboy's son, like you said, mm -hmm. uh, to get a, a job like that. But this is a situation whereby we know very much that it's not just a son and father matter this, now, uh, mm. this time around. They actually have a lot going. And uh, like I said, knowing very much that this guy will not be welcome in a shaman especially for some comments he has made uh over over the over the past month you know i i think the choice i don't know whether they wanted to trend because well, this, the comments no. the comments was the comments not for the beam concert was I mean, a comment for Ashama in itself. It was, I mean, it was for the BIM concert. But you see, I disagree with your, your, your question that you posed with regards to, well, if they cannot get a father, let's mm -hmm, get a son. Mm -hmm. Listen, let's give Kelvin Boy the credit, especially after his exit from the BIM Nation, BIM, Birmingham Music Group, mm -hmm. how he's been able to elevate his career and his brand to this level where a big company like Electron would want to contract him. So let's give him credit for what he's been able to do over the period. So you don't believe mm -hmm. that it's because it, they couldn't get further that he decided no, to get No, I mean, I mean, when you say that, it's, it's quite disrespectful to what he's been able to build in this last few couple of months. You, you understand what Has I'm saying? Has he built that? What people say he's built that? No, you see, if, if, if he were still under the label, mm -hmm. then would have, it would have been right to say, probably because of the Stonewall Association, that is why he was contracted to, to do that, the gig. But no. I mean, he's been a guy in his own right for the last couple of months. Hmm. And you and I know that he's been able to elevate the brand and his music to a certain level where any company like can to. go out there and contract him to come and perform. No, so let's give him that credit. The, after the incident, yeah. there mm -hmm. were a number of tweets from him. Yeah. Tweets that people had read meanings into. No names, but George, were you one of the people who believed that those tweets were targeted at Stonewall? Of course, yes, of course. <laughs> what made you think so? Because, again, he said, you think Sash, one of the things he said, you think Sashama be your own. The guy who attacked him is from Ashaman. The people who attacked him are from Ashaman. Why couldn't he have been referring to anybody else than Stoneboy? I mean, we all know. I mean, you know, I spoke to some people from his camp. And I mean, for the first, the first word they said is, we know who is behind this, you understand? And of course, uh, Kelvin didn't mention anyone's name in the tweet, but we all know who he was referring to. It was quite sad. You see, this whole thing, what really hurts me the most is that uh, we are the same people who have been crying for support from, you know, the corporate uh, Ghana. And when uh, opportunities like this are presented to us, uh, and we sort of, you know, kill it this way, it hurts because then, uh, tomorrow, Electroland, I'm not sure it's going to involve another artist in if they are going to, you know, open another branch. So let's find a way. Let's condemn this act, okay? Listen, the reason why I want us to condemn this so is. So, which people are you looking for? You've been talking about condemn, condemn. Which people have you to do? Are you looking forward to condemn? I've seen, I've seen, I've seen, I think I've seen. No, no, uh, condemn whoever came to do the act. Listen, okay. this person has been bold enough to come out to, con you know, to do a video. The guy is say, bold enough to even yes, go back so, on a video telling so, us so why see, he did the act. You see, if we do not. And there's the police to come pick him. He says, anybody who. I haven't heard Listen, that he's been if arrested. This, if this is not properly dealt with, tomorrow somebody else will have an issue with another artist and he can, you know, 
move to this artist and harm him in, in any way. So until, until we put these people in the right places, we will not be secure. Do you have an idea if they've reported? Please yes, yes, yes. I, I mean, uh, I think that very moment they... they uh, is city, the according to the city, he reported the, the case. And, but no arrest has been made yet. Uh, uh, honestly, I've not followed up. And yeah. Electroland equally uh, yeah. made some police came by. So yeah. <laughs> Why is Anna smiling? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, see, I'm smiling because of, of one reason. Mm -hmm. George talks about the fact that um, we need to condemn the act, mm -hmm. which, which, which is laudable. I mean, clearly, under no circumstance should any endeavor within our space degenerate into violence. Mm -hmm. And so it's clear that we need to condemn it. But see, when he goes on to talk about the fact that, oh, if things like this transpire in our space and we will not get sponsorship and we will not get support, big man, just last weekend, politics, what do you need to be see? That's politics. No, I mean, no, 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 but see, I, 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 I cringe a little when, when it comes to our space and issues like this come up. We always go like, oh, this is the reason why we don't get the support. But in your introductory remarks, I heard you say no, that but that's, that's no not make business it want to Listen, be associated exactly, with Exactly, that is violence. clear. But you see, we should not blow it out of proportion and make it seem as if, oh, in our industry, when this issue, when they are spill, they are spill over in Isn't every some day boy gets no, Samsung to pull off their deal from him Good, because of listen. what happened at the VGMA? No, I know, is that not what happened? I think what I know she needs to understand is that, listen, yes, politics and it happens in any other uh, uh, culture. But they are not kind to us when it happens to you us. You understand? that This is it. In politics, in politics, these guys somehow finance themselves. Mm. Is that the case in our in our industry? No. Well, can, then we should also look at funding us. We don't have the money. We don't have the money. We don't have the money. Let's do it. We don't have the money. 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 We don't have guys believing in us. Spillovers, so spillovers happen everywhere. No, it yes, let's condemn. It's, 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 it's let's what? act right moving forward. Mm -hmm. But let's not make, always create the impression that, oh, because we the the little disturbance, no, then people are driving. Why? why? No, but you see, let's play an example. Let's look at even the football leagues. Now, there are certain leagues that, uh, you know, for the violence and all that, they are losing their TV rights because I don't want to watch a football like match. Let's not even drag it. The obvious, it's obviously yeah. clear that that's what happened. But let's zoom into Stoneboy's yeah, reaction. Benetton yeah. Music, for that matter, yeah, sure, sure. a statement. People have said that it wasn't needed. Your name wasn't mentioned. Why do you even go ahead to, you know, place a statement out there? What do you stand to benefit? Anna, I start with you. Um, I think the statement was, was, was appropriate. Uh, because Stoneboy is a big brand. Mm. He's associated with a lot of business ventures. Um, his pedigree is on that level. Where... Well, how did he mention his name? In no, that let, me, let me go into it. Okay. The statement in itself was well heralded. It was expected. He was supposed to come up with a statement and disassociate just associate himself and his brand from whatever transpired in Ashama. Mm. However, some of the commentary in the release were not necessary. Mm. Especially the first two paragraphs where they wanted to address Kelvin Boy and his tweets. Mm. That was not necessary because Kelvin Boy did not mention anybody's name. Exactly. So it, I, I was wondering why they would want to give Kelvin Boy that audience. And, and then he came to post on that. I think Zion Felix says, did yeah. they fear me pass or Exactly, what because you are fooling him. Because especially when during his tweet or when he was just going back and forth, he, was, he did not assign whatever transpired to any personality. And so it was not necessary for Stoneboy and his group or his PR machinery to actually dedicate two paragraphs for Kelvin Boy. <laughs> it, seriously, you are not supposed for Kelvin Boy. That's a lot of PR for him. That's a lot of that's 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 a lot of platform for him to go on and like, generate attention. Is that to also affirm what he says that they fear him pass? Because you have given him that leverage. And sometimes I wonder why Stone Boy and his his posse would always want to give him that platform. Because he is nowhere close to the to, to Stone Boy's brand. In, in every regard, from awards to performance to hit songs, hit albums to businesses, nothing. And so I, I, I sometimes I wonder why why is this small boy giving Stone Boy sleepless nights? <laughs> so but, but you believe that that's, those statements uh, mm -hmm. were for Stone Boy, so I'm sure that you you, you also don't find anything wrong uh, with uh, the no, statement. No, but I think it was the right decision for Stone Boy to come out, you know, because uh, everybody was pointing figures at him that he's involved one way or the other. Uh, why? Because. There was a bodyguard that we all know is associated with Stone Boy. So, I mean, coming out <laughs> was right. But like you said, I mean, looks like uh, attention is still being given to uh, Kelvin, you know, which is not supposed to be. So let's come out and say, hey, I have nothing to do with this. But Stop. if you mention Kelvin in like that, then it gives him uh, weight. You understand? I mean, Stone Boy 
it's bigger. No, this is one of the biggest <laughs> acts in Africa. Mm. Okay, so I think it's about time that you know it lets everything slide and he moves on with his career. Now let's, let's go zoom, zoom to how do you call him grandfather or godfather's uh, post, uh, Samini's post, which was a beautiful one for a lot of people, <laughs> including myself. Mm. Uh, we didn't expect him to take mm -hmm. sides, and so he did it so beautifully. I don't know about you and how you felt about the post, whether it was appropriate for him to have gone on social <laughs> media or to have placed a call privately and say, hey, I'm your father and I'm your godfather. When I come back, or oh, let's do this, let's do that, rather than put it in the public. What do you think? Yeah. You know, these days, everybody wants to chase clouds, so... Oh, <laughs> oh, are you saying oh, Samini is oh, chasing no, no, clouds? Is that no, what no, you're I saying? Say, I didn't say Samini, I said everybody. I... <laughs> Samini is the one we are talking about. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but so, what's wrong with chasing clouds? I mean, no, no, Samini, I mean, at, yes. his, at his pedigree, is chasing mm -hmm. clouds? Oh, he needs attention. What do you mean? Of course, he needs attention. I mean... <laughs> really? Oh, yes. Like every said, I mean, if attention. Samini really wanted to, you know, solve this issue, he has a direct contact with Stoneboy. You could have called him and said, brother, listen, maybe when you're with me, you know, we have similar issues, but we were able to treat it, you know, they didn't make it come to public. So let's find a way. Let the boy slide. Let the boy do what he's doing. Okay, then afterwards he calls, uh, uh, what's his name? Kelvin Boy. But this is a case where, you know, everybody wants to tap. Now, that's the situation these days. When there's, there's, when there's an issue, and it's, when there's an, a training issue, everybody wants to tap into this. So Samini also came. Yeah, of course. Uh, with his statement, I mean, some uh, Beam fans were not so cool with it. Uh, you know, uh, people what, what was in the statement that he didn't like? I thought it was no, a very fair statement. There were some elements within uh, BIM yeah. that were not too excited about the statement, and especially when you talked about where, oh, he's your son, so treat him like your son, like you understand. Mm -hmm. Now, listen, um, I disagree with it with the cloud chasing. Every entertainer needs attention, mm. ideally. Samini was supposed to have done this behind the scenes, but you and I know over the period, these artists do not do things behind the scenes. Even when they want to feature somebody, they put it on Twitter. <laughs> that I need you on my song, blah, blah, blah. They don't do stuff behind the scenes again. Social media has given them that mm -hmm. platform to always be expressing themselves on that space. And so we understand the fact that he will not do it behind the scenes, but do it in the full glare of everybody. Now, this is what he was supposed to do. I mean, we see him as the grandfather of, I mean, he's been involved with these two artists. And so he's supposed to be the peacemaker. The only reason why some elements within the beam camp do not agree with him, and are insulting him, is this is that statement he made about the fact that oh he's your son what that statement meant because you could actually feel some level of sarcasm in that, that mm -hmm, statement mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that listen you stone boy when you were with me your exit was not amicable although it was not as loud as kevin boy's own but listen we all know that there were issues before stone boy's exit from high grade and so still samina is telling him that listen if today i'm treating you as a son we go on platforms and we shout out each other why can't you do the same with kevin boy that statement is what the beam natives are not excited about. Is it not about. true? Is that not supposed That's to be the case? That's a fact, but they are not excited about it. Mm. You get it. The point you, is... You don't think that it should have been featured in there? The point is, the way Samini and Stoneboy has, have been able to elevate their interaction mm -hmm. to a certain level. Now, there, there's so much maturity. So, the fact that Stoneboy's exit from Highgate was not palatable, that has been thrown somewhere. Now, they, they exhibit a lot of maturity in shouting out each other. That is not what is being seen with Kelvin Boy and Stoneboy. And yeah. that's what Samini expects. That in our situation, we went through the same process. You did not live in, in a very smiley way. But we are still fine. So mm. why, why can't you do the same with so Kelvin So it Boy? means that Stoneboy is not showing maturity. Is that what basically he's trying I to mean, tell him? Uh, maybe yes. Listen. That's what you also believe? That's a maybe yes. Uh, it, it's, it's, that, that, that's, that's the only reason why they will come at him. You understand? That's the only reason why the beam natives will yeah. come at Stoneboy. The point is, the point is, Ms. G, before we close the match, the issue on this one. Stone Boy has to move above Kelvin Boy's rant. Hmm. Because you are the bigger person. You are the lion. Look, why would you want to allow the ants to always poke you? Well, maybe this time around, that's why he decided to release a statement instead of going directly and tweeting about the issue. Or other. But let's move on to Mizuga's reaction to the Ghanaian stranded abroad. You know, it's been a huge conversation. I've had, uh, even here last Friday, I had a conversation with Tiflo, with Kobi Wuta, with Real MC, and also Agbeshi, who are all stuck outside the country. And they are not pleased with the initiative by governments that they should book a different flight and also come pay 500, 600 cities when they come back home. Uh, for the self-isolation period. Well, oh, it's, mm -hmm. well, it's quite unfortunate that uh, some of our brothers are still stuck, you know, in Europe and elsewhere. Uh, unfortunately, not, like I said, I mean, not everybody can afford the, 
you know, the bills in the hotels and, of course, uh, with their flights. Yes, that's uh, been understandable. But are you okay with Musica's reaction? Because the, everybody was saying that if you belong to an association, you should be able to do something. Musica is saying, I've now reached out to government. Two weeks ago, they haven't heard anything from no, government. No, I mean, the question we need to ask ourselves is, I mean, how... I think relevant is a big word. Uh, how, how, <laughs> how relevant is Musica in, in the, most of these artists' career? You understand? I mean, honestly, call 100 artists and find out if they even know where the office of Musica is. Really? Or they, yes. Or they even know uh, the duties of Musica. They'll tell you they have no idea. Uh, maybe, maybe 10% will tell you they have. So Musica, I don't think, plays any major role in every art any artist's Then there's career. no need for us to join the association then. There's no need for them to be part no, of the association. the question is, like I said, how many of them are even members of this association? That we should scrap it at least. <laughs> well, I think, I, what, what I think is that Musica serves more of the aged than uh, no. the youth. No, I listen. That's not true. Uh, no, listen, because... <laughs> That's not true. No, how many of the young artists have we even ever heard them speak about Musica? Mm. And in what manner? Mm. You understand? Yes, there's an institution that is for all of us. I was a member of Musica as far back in 2012 or so, since that I've not, you know, re-registered or, you know... <laughs> you, you understand? So, we need to find out. Listen, this is an association that has a name. It has a block. It has a building somewhere. How often do they even engage the artists? In what manner? You get me? The only time you hear artists talk about Musica is probably when they are acquiring for Visa. <laughs> you get me? So there are a lot of things that we need to probably settle before we get them involved. I mean, if all these artists, when they were going there to do their shows, was Musica going to receive any deal from their performance? Any, any, was there any uh, money coming back to Musica? We need to find a way to... Listen, if we depend on Musica that much, we should be able to give a certain percentage of our performance or our, our, our revenues to Musica. But they pay dues. They pay dues. I think the dues pay me. I, I think Anna doesn't agree. No, I, I, I do not subscribe to the point he made about the fact that Musica caters to only the aged. I mean, that's, that's totally wrong. It caters to all its members. The fact that the young guys are not making a lot of noise about Musica does not mean the union does not cater to them. That's, that's totally wrong. Now, he said, when was the last time these young guys talked about Musica. They did last on Friday on your show. Mm, but until then. No, but until they did. Then. But they did. Until then, we didn't well, have to ask them. The question is, when was the last time? But we didn't have to ask Wait. them. Wait. He said, when was the last time? And the last time was on your show. That's just last week. <laughs> That's when they was, was it supposed to have been the case? These oh. guys have been ranting for weeks. Mizzy, the man asked, when was the last time? And I'm referring to you that the last time. And was I was also asking so. you that, was mm -hmm. it supposed to be that situation? Uh, was it that was the last be? time. <laughs> but, but, yeah, that, that was the, the only time, time actually. <laughs> See, I'm tempted to say these guys should, should shut up and suffer. Because listen, if, if you go into the musical books, how many of them cry out well-paying members? How many? When he spoke to Bessa, he told you that Musica is doing something in that regard to actually bring them back. What else are they supposed to do? Because it, they are processes. Just because you are Musica, so you just walk into any government edifice and say, oh, there's one of two musicians who are stranded in Abroche, so bring them back. No. It takes a while. And Bessa told you respectfully that, listen, we are going through all the processes. And so why would you want to sit somewhere and tell us that, oh, Musica does not care about you and blah, blah, blah. When you were going, did, is it Musica who... Didn't they go in the name of the... They didn't go in the name of Musica. They were in the name of Ghana. Are they not Ghanaian? What's Ghana? But like the I said, they bring, so like I said, to you like I said pockets, <laughs> because there are no deals or any revenue given to Musica after their performances. If there was, then they can hold Musica responsible for what is happening to them. The, the union says they are... Do Listen, a couple of days ago, there are some footballers who are stranded in Ethiopia. Uh -huh. And GFA said they've contacted the Ministry of sports uh -huh. to see how these guys these footballers stranded in Ethiopia will come that's the same thing these guys doing but so you don't believe that they'll even do anything at the end of the day Listen, because two weeks after watch, writing watch, watch, watch. to see something eh? communicating when, with when, the ministry, when government brought the directives heard. when brought the directives that they have to pay this blah 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 guess what Sarko they brought the whole family back to Ghana he can afford it so why are they not they can't they afford it they are not of the pedigree of Sarko eh. at least why? Chief Law is not why Kobe Wutar is not yeah. Ariel MC is not. Okay, now they, now they, they know their smoothest level. Oh, oh, of course, they've always they've <laughs> okay. never contested. Oh, right, cool. they? Oh, they do contest all the time. They sold you that. So they said they're up for. They said they're up for. Yes. Yeah, right. But I need to go. Unfortunately, we can't do the Ajiza thing. But let's quickly touch uh -oh. on uh, the Obo thing, and then we'll go. Uh, this is a loss to the entire industry. Do you believe that? No. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I so like, I believe you're one no, of those who are happy. Oh no, happy no. Mm. You know, listen, this is Obo's uh, first time. You know, trying. Uh, this and for him to if for him to be beaten by just 64 
voters. That should tell you that the young brother did very great there. Uh, this is his first time, and he's you know he is actually challenging uh, a sitting MP. Mm. You understand? So Abu did well. I mean, uh, he was not so fortunate to win. Uh, he did his best. I'm, I'm very sure that with the figures that I saw. Uh, 68 votes difference. Yes, I'm, I'm very sure that in the next uh, election, the, the probability of him winning is very high. Yeah, you, yeah. all of our social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, awful, but I call him the private campaign yeah, yeah, manager. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it was quite disappointing. Because oh. um, uh, the expectation was that he would win and, 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 and probably give us some spotlight for those of us in the act when he goes to parliament. But, I mean, he came in second. Um, he lost. And so we need to just do our homework well and see the next four years. Were you disappointed by the many who seemed happy, openly? Um, Obo, Obo has, has, has not got too many friends. Uh, he has a lot of detractors. And so it was expected that his loss would, would cause a lot of people joy. But, but I mean, we, we do not care about them. <laughs> I mean, we'll still figure out how we go about it the next four years and see how we represent the <laughs> industry in parliament. Okay, so that's all time will allow us. Uh, Ajizi's conversation will come up maybe another time. Uh, I don't know when though, but uh, kudos to Ajizi. I, I'm one of those who believe that he can do well, but maybe the packaging is a problem. But next time we'll talk about that. So joining us, uh, or those who have, you've heard so far, you've heard from George Britton, who is an artist manager and a media person as well, and also almighty Anod Asamwa <laughs> Bedu, number one entertainment pundit. <laughs> Across Ghana, I should say in a whole Ghana. In a whole Ghana. <laughs> Shatawale's new friend, and uh, they've been helping us uh, on the conversations about Kelvin Boy, and of course a bit on Obo, and then also uh, we talked about. Um, uh, which one again did we talk about? We talked about something else. We have about three things so far. Yeah. They, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then the Ghanaians who are stranded uh, abroad. All right, so that'll be for our conversation here on TV3 New Day. My name is Miss Jibela.